way there and see but if I managed to get our duck shooting posse back we um, haven't, had it, haven't had any duck shooting for three years so uh, yeah just um, going to get some uh, gear and decoys and uh, mate's going to get his pack raft because uh, I think we're only allowed um, one dog on the property so yeah we've got four of us going out and, um, Mates has got his young dog, he's training, so it'll be interesting to see how uh, she goes. Um, yeah, so that's what's happening. Just on the way to go and get some uh, gear and then uh, head out, check out our posse and um, see what ducks are around. Put the decoys out and yeah, and then it'll be all go tomorrow morning, hopefully. So once we'd uh, sorted out our decoy spread on our dam, we um, went over and checked out uh, Westy and Nev's dam and see how they were getting on with their uh, decoy set out. While we were there, we um, noticed uh, three cheeky mallards coming in on the end of um, Neb and Westy's dam while they were putting out their decoys. So I snuck the old drone in for a closer look to see if they'd flare up. Well, we set up all the decoys, checked out the posies, and uh, what's that? This is my drone. <laughs> and this is Nev. He's Where uh, is it? it's on the, in there filming us. Yeah, this is Nev. There's Westy over there. Um, we're all getting set up, and um, so we're thinking of getting a bit peckish and a bit thirsty. Yeah, I, I think we and over here. Over here is a pub, so uh, yeah, that's where we're going to head and uh, wet our heads for the um, opening morning. Yeah, two parries, too far away. Well, um, the 2022 duck shooting season's about to begin. We've got the robo duck down here, making waves. <laughs> Well, the morning had got off to a pretty slow start, unfortunately. And then the fog started to roll in. We thought that might uh, increase our chances when we heard a few high-flying ducks calling.
That's my uh, piss poor attempt at a parry call, um, since I didn't have my parry caller on me. Just done when they come cubed around. So far, everyone's fired a shot but us. Yeah. <laughs> had a most action we've had so far, and a group of Canada's coming right over, but they stuck to the um, fog line just out of sight, and then two parries that just came just within range. We've got herons, another bird life gathering here. <laughs> Well, I'm going to go and uh, stalk a dam around the corner, see if we can uh, get some action out of that. The biggest challenge in stalking this dam was uh, getting past these cattle and uh, just getting them to move naturally rather than spooked. Get up, Mr. Drake. Not good odds. <laughs> Unlike my um, deer stalking um, adventures. So far, six shots, no ducks. <coughs> They're still all tucked in here. Still a few ducks tucked in here. Amazing how many ducks are still tucked in behind these trees. They keep coming out. But taking me by surprise. <laughs> well, Ducks landed right near the dam. Craig's trying to get him to stand up. Lift off. There's two ducks just on the end of the dam. Craig's in the hide trying to get him to stand up. Maybe me walking over there might put him up. Here, yeah, three of them there, Craig. Look like spoonies. Get up. Yeah, mate, yeah. Get up, spoonies. They're just at the outer limit, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, get up. Quack, quack. Come on. Oi. Fuck. Sorry, shot one. Yeah, mate, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> what can I say about that? <laughs> oh, I fired uh, nine shots and I've got nothing. <laughs> so, well, our tally's not going too well. Uh, nine shots by myself. I think three by Craig and still no duck. If 
in doubt, at least we've got Easter eggs and coffee. Hey there, uh, Kent, over. Ah, uh, yeah, well, what's happening in your corner, mate? Oh, yeah, Roger. Yeah, we got ducks on our dam, but the wrong type. Yeah, teal and dab chicks. Yeah, we'll touch base in about an hour, eh? Craig's uh, turn to stalk the dam now. We've got plover action. Going down. No, he's not. They didn't drink and drive, they just sort of came straight in. Oh, shit. Yeah. But there was a couple of mallards. I went yeah. round further over this yeah. nice pond right at the far end. Oh, okay. Trees. Yeah, yeah, and there was a few mallards on there. Yeah. Oh, okay. A few parries, did they come back yeah. when you went round there? Yeah. Yeah, I, I shot at them. Yeah, okay. Well, well, that's our morning hunt episode over. Um, Craig's got us one mallard on the deck. Yeah. <laughs> Between us, we've fired close to 50 shots, though, to get that one mallard. So, yeah. Oh, well, we'll call up Westy and head back for a brew. What's count? Got our limit. Big fat zero. Oh eh? Yeah. Shot your limit. <laughs> no rounds left. <laughs> Hope there goes the loan of it to left. Here yeah, they are. Teal. Yeah, probably the long neck on them. Where is it? Come here. Where is it? Yeah, Westy Swan just out here. Yeah. Now the breeze comes up. After a good feed and a power nap, we were out again for the evening hunt, hoping that some ducks had uh, moved into our dams during the day. Swans. Oh shit, two bars there. We're just taking a couple of decoys to the dam. We're going to go and position ourselves on the um, on the other dam for this evening. So we're just taking a couple of decoys with us to um, help increase our chances. Ah, oh, fuck.
Well, unfortunately, with the um, clear skies and um, that makes the ducks fly high, unfortunately. And yeah, we had no action but the odd plover flying by and um, just to watch day slowly turn into night until um, the shooting hour had finished. So we've, um, I've just done up a uh, feed for the boys, uh, feed for four, good healthy meals, venison sausages and uh, peas. And yeah, what's the verdict, boys? The sausages are all right, eh? No, what's going on? Yeah, yeah. It's because uh, it all starts in the hill when you shoot them. It's, um, you know, shoot them quickly to minimise meat stress. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, one duck down, here's a lone parry, just wouldn't take off, I was just cruising around with the swan and she spooked and took off, and so yeah. This morning me and Craig covered both dams and uh, hoped that <laughs> might increase our chances. Well it did. It was better than uh, the Saturday morning, the opening morning. <laughs> Hopefully we get a few more coming in like that, they're doubles, they just didn't, didn't even hesitate did they? Well we've got um, two ducks so far, um, Perry here, Perry Hen, um, got that first thing this morning and then uh, Craig just gone over the hill to the other dam we sat on early first thing this morning and um, picking up his uh, mallard, so yeah. <laughs> We're off to a start with a couple of ducks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that the top end here? Yeah. Yeah. I was wondering that that creek down there, do they um you see them landing over in here? I suppose you wouldn't from here, would you? What's that? Would you see them landing there? That little uh, water race creek that's along here. Yeah. You sort of wonder whether they'd not go by and land down in there. Last um roll of the dice for opening weekend we're gonna stalk this little creek. Just to sort of comes back around towards the um vehicle so Sometimes you get a few mallards hole up in it, so yeah, give it a nudge. These little water races on farms can make um, 
for good fast shooting later on in the season when there's a bit more pressure on the ducks they tend to hide in these little spots something swam through quick quick <coughs> we'll hit the try of the creek um, last roll of the dice no ducks um, probably a good place to keep an eye on later in the season when the ducks sort of move around a bit more and find places that aren't shot up as much Well, that was our opening weekend for you, um, but don't worry, there's more to come. Hopefully it's better than our opening weekend shoot. <coughs> um, yeah, so uh, like, subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more.